the Greenwood native. She has seven points for UCA. And Barnum has to shoot quickly. She's been in the lane for a while, and she'll get pro life. She was. I remember watching her teams play when I'd go over to watch Arkansas Tech play, and she was the head coach at Delta. Great pass. Spencer again, able to find Barnum. One jump step, got her open for an easy lay-in, and Angie Nelp needs a timeout. She can't shoot with their feet set. And, and it gives the defense, takes the hope away. What a great steal finish by Barnum. And Barnum from one end to the other after the takeaway. Barnum about to go to work. Use that elbow to create some space. And Been a little bit shell-shocked early. They, very much so. And they've handled the runs by Arkansas very well. Good kick out. Barnum slithering to the basket. Or would you believe me? Not at all. <laughs> I would have taken that bet. Barnum again, 21. Now defensively, how do they respond? Barnum has been almost indefensible, and yeah. she will coax in another one. I'd be very patient. But Lead as much of that as you could. But Arkansas, they're great scorers. <laughs> How about that? Lee Mayberry's daughter. I think she was four for six from the three in that game. Well, that's what Barnum has done this year, Z. Just about how their basketball team has played. You're, you're smacking this blowout, and it's second half. Pivot foot. Daniels finds Barnum. This is what she does, slithers, turns, twists, Ooh. and scores. She's done that all season. Finding the weakness and then finishing. You're pretty good now. I would say Katie Shoemate has made a concerted effort to get her points. Ten of her 12 have come here in the last five or six minutes. Spencer again finds Barnum. No whistle. Barnum coaxes in another one. Three minutes into this second half. Barnum trying to get on track. The hands getting into the passing lane. Barnum. Turned away initially and able to get the roll. First attempt from deep. Here's Barnum. Inside, gets to the other side of the. Well, Lori Payne said maybe this playing at sea level. There's a feed inside. Barnum. There's Barnum. Inside working against Elmore. There's Barnum inside. A lot of long arms. There's Aaron Barnum working on a one-on-one oh, -on -one against Greer. The bank shot last game. Kind of got the offense rolling. There's Barnum to take across the lane. Moving the basketball. Right now they're coming up and chucking. There's Barnum. The future. There's Barnum strong. It's minus here today, and that is absolutely exactly Langerman's style. And how about that for Barnum, the layup. Great post player. So they want to do safe passing, and that was not safe. And here comes Aaron Barnum off the turnover. Oh, nice move inside for the layup. Game for the Razorbacks. Barnum inside, spin move, got it. Great up and under, head and shoulder. The Bulls, credit Arkansas as well. Barnum inside, reverse layup. Oh, nice pass there inside. Barnum gets a defender to go down for the easy layup. Daniels with the assist, trailing by one. Daniels has made so many big buckets. She gets it to Barnum, who also has layup. Angel Reese, that's a must. Angel Reese wearing number 10 now, started the season at number one. She'll finish the season at number 10. You better start pointing out, calling out. Where's two? Where is Daniels? Williams. Aaron Barnum pushing it back the other way for Arkansas, and she'll get the layup. Four minutes a game. Angel Reese is doing it with an average of 33 minutes per game. Aaron Barnum and one play. She's going to the free throw. Tennessee is doing not just for women's basketball, but across all different sports. 9% from the charity strike for the Tigers. Barnum with the spin and the patience to put conference games, but they continue to build and get better and be more connected. It's Barnum on the drive. Arkansas, they can't consistently get a step on their defender, which is why they're struggling to create. Well, except for Aaron Moa being so close to upsetting LSU on their home floor. Barnum on the spin and the finish. 
Chloe Kitts is on the floor as well. Kitts, the freshman, number 21, will let Barnum go 